guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today so today I have for you guys telling you to contour and highlight with cream products. If you guys have, you guys have any questions on how to do it, you're not ready how to contour, you're not ready on stepping out of your comfort zone and doing all these steps to your face. If you're not ready for all that, well, I'm here to help you guys. If you want to learn how to contour and highlight with cream products, then just keep watching. What I first like to do is I like to, um, like I said, grab some of the product. This is very dark. Grab some of the product on my brush. So I like to do tap up where your ear is. Just put it directly to connect with the line of your mouth, like right in the tip. So right there, that's where you want to start your contouring. So you're not going to bring it all the way down to the lip. You're going to do it from here down onto like right here. Audio jungle. You can already see the shadow, so I have it here and here. Because you don't want it to go down. We want the the appearance of higher cheekbones. You don't want to blend it down. You want to blend it up. we have here we have like a shadow here the shadow here and the shadow here this square what we leave is for where the highlight goes now for my nose I like to blend this out with a small fiber brush just like a very small precision fiber brush audio jungle what I have left in the brush which is a very tiny bit just add it to the crease of my eyelid just to give it a little more depth because I'm not applying any eyeshadow so just to give it a little depth now what I'm gonna do is add the highlight so what I like to do is I like to just do it right here under not right under my directly under my eye but like down here I like to do it as in like a triangle kind of thing so what I do that I find works best for me is doing like as a staircase so we're gonna start big smaller 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 and tiny so this is what I'm talking about a big stair a smaller stair smaller smaller and just bring it to the tiniest as you get farther back onto your temple same thing on the other side large small 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 until you get to tiny so that's what I like to do then down the bridge of my nose on my forehead just three little things that looks like a little tulip right above my eyebrow just to give it like an extra highlight on my brow just so my brow can look a little higher like the arch right on my cupid's bow my chin a little bit on the lines around my mouth just a bit and then right under where we counter so we have highlight counter and then a little more of highlight again highlight counter a little more of highlight it's like a contour sandwich I like staple the concealer or the highlight on my skin so it won't move and it won't crease on my fine lines and then I just blend it a little bit
that we are contoured and highlighted. Now what I'm going to do is just blend it all together. Let me just wipe the brush a little bit so it won't be so light. So I just get a little bit on my brush and just dab, dab it to where I added the highlight and a little bit on my neck. Just so what we worked on won't move. Brown powder, the bronzing powder in color natural one. This is a very I this with the Sigma large angled counter brush, my brush. Just, uh, dust off the excess and then just set the cream product so it won't move. And so I know when I do a counter in the face, I know I'm not gonna apply any eyeshadow, so I just like to give my eye a little bit of shadow by adding bronzer to my eyes. I'll grab this big brush and just blend all the counter that we just did now. So just blend. special occasion palette from BH Cosmetics. I love this palette. I actually love all BH Cosmetics products. I'll make sure to link it down below where you can guys can purchase this. I know they're having like this really nice, deep, pinky, mauvey, peachy color. It's like all three together. So here, you see where the elbows of your cheeks are? Right there, that's all where you used to apply it up. But I feel like it looked a little too fake, like too dolly-like. So what I like to do now is I just apply it halfway into my cheeks and just blend it back. I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. baked highlighter with the small tapered brush. So I'm just gonna dust this right above my cheekbones. Like just to give the nice highlight that you need for when the light hits, it's just like, it makes you glowy, like a beautiful natural glow. For tuning in guys thank you for watching this video if you guys have any video requests please again leave them in the comments down below if you guys have any ideas any requests for a next video um you guys are more than welcome to give me ideas i'm open for anything and everything just please try to keep it beauty related makeup related focus um, on makeup i'm just here to give you guys tips help you guys out if you don't really know how to be comfort zone but you don't know how that's what i'm here for thank you so much so for tuning in guys and i'll see you in my next video ciao Makeup draw. How awesome is that?